Right, this episode 10 of If Her Flag Breaks, and it's just, oh, okay. It, it wasn't that great of a next episode for what happened before, but it was semi-good. Uh, let's see, they, they're back in school, so it's the next semester, or term, the next term. And and they bring back shoot what's her name the new they bring back the new princess so you know you just throw in that into the mix and it's a festival so you got the festival to do handle and you just start getting you know your huge mix of all these people getting together and oops sorry for that mix up but. Let's see, they throw in then a beauty contest, which, which is, oh, right? Okay, like, you know, you're gonna get like, oh, who's gonna pick? But the beauty contest itself turns out a bit perverse and stupid. It's funny, but it, to me, it felt a little bit over the top and out of hand. They had, you know, you know, introductions, they're like, okay, you know, and they all say, oh, why, yeah, I like Soto, okay, which is, you know, it's like, like, okay, I, I know you like him, and I know they're trying to portray that they like him, but then they go into the swim tube contest, which I knew there was going to be a swim tube contest, like, but it turned very kind of perverted, and, and, turned into a wet t-shirt contest which was different but they portrayed it so so like ill that it kind of made me like eh, why are they doing this like seriously like mmm but um I, I I digress but the rest of the show just kind of portrayed uh, how how very depressed he is, and and it's kind of bringing some people down or bringing Anami down. She knows she can see it. She can see it, and that's probably because she's a bit more closer to Soda em emotionally than some of the other girls. The other girls like him. I'm not gonna lie, they do care about him. But Nanami's one of the only few people that know about his power, besides... Oh no, she forgot. So, yeah, Nanami's one that only knows her, his powers, and kind of understands him a little bit more. And it makes sense, because during the, the, the beauty contest thing, they did... Because they all got even scores, like, oh my god, decide already. They had to do a confession love thing, and I'm glad that they only did one. Because it would have been a bit annoying to hear everyone just give their love confessions. And, um, because Nanami was first, she kind of just told him straight out, you know, exactly what he needed to hear. And I, I enjoyed hearing that. I'm, I was glad they did that to her character. Um, but for that, that was overall really great of this episode. Nanami's actual true like not her feelings about him and how he has to how it kind of it, it, it hit him hard you know like you know there's someone out there who was paying attention you know and that was great um and you know after she won the contest because of that everyone else like gave up like oh you did it yeah it was fun just for that they won a, he, she won a date with him and all food concession stand like yeah so they're gonna eat and then towards the end they they introduced the, the last character because I was wondering about the idol star girl they introduced her not much just a quick glimpse and and towards the end they saw the this like chest coffin thing that was hidden behind the doors that that was a good ending but for the most part I. I it, it was not the best of episodes. So, then th those were my thoughts, and they were. <laughs> I love this part. 
God, you know, that's one thing that I, I, I wanted to finish up, but that's one thing about this series I do enjoy, even though I'm hoping he is a guy and not just someone who thinks he's not, because his expressions and misdirection that make him think that he's a girl just makes it hilarious, you know, like, you know, he's trying and <laughs> it's just funny, like, like he's, he's not a guy, he's... He's, he's a girl. <laughs> it's funny, but but it was a, it was an okay episode. It had some good feelings towards it, but it could have been played out better. So until next time, um, I can't wait to see you next week.